My name is Margaret Ann Windsor, and I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41, and I was born in 39, given the name brought to Moulton, Alabama, Lawrence County, and that's near uh, Huntsville, which became the Space Center, NASA, and it was already the uh, Redstone Army Ballistic Missile uh, and Command Center. So there's a lot that went on there. Um, I'm going to read a little of Jack's letter. What happened was I wrote the book. I didn't get to finish this on the other tape I just made. Uh, I um, wrote a medical malpractice book about mind control, let me say that, 76 to April Fool's Day of 80, and I had antifreeze put in me, should have died. I was a, That's a fiasco there, if it's ever told or shown. I was illegally taken across the state line, and I never, I didn't have a home again, and I really never knew for sure where my kids were again. Uh, my ex-husband was, he had worked, he had ties to the CIA. Now he and the doctors, and I don't know who else got in on it, but Lois Pearson worked for Kennesaw Hospital. Her sister worked for the Phillips that were doctors there. I, I believe she worked for the Phillips. She worked for doctors. So um, under the guise of helping me, I went to her home, and I got a call that night or that afternoon from a doctor I know, and I still think he was honest as they come. He he called me there at her place. I was spending the night because it had gotten so bad for me. Uh, and my ex-husband had suddenly they'd put the um, apartment in his name, and I could go into that. I mean, he came back, and it was explained because all the things was happening to me and my sons. There was sugar going into the lifters. It was all kinds of stuff threatening me. Thought a bomb was put in my car at one time. They called out the bomb squad from uh, Smyrna. So I go on and on about it. But I wanted to get to, uh, I don't know where I want to get to, get so convoluted. and uh, Right now I'm so sick, I'm allergic to chemicals. I put that on the former uh, YouTube and Facebook. And if I'm around chemicals, my body reacts by my immune system attacks itself. Over the years, the inflammation has taken, I mean, it's really gotten to my kidneys, my lungs, my uh, liver, my heart, my legs, uh, really horrible. And I've already put that on. I've quoted the state trooper if, if I should have to quote. Nobody will touch it because the people that kidnapped me are the Illuminati, the Freemasons. So I'm going to go to this. This is, uh, and if you care to go back and get the background, my tape will run out, um, and I won't get it up on this one. If I ever learn how to work this, I stay so sick because it's toxic where I live, and and they run me with it. And I'm going to read you this so you understand uh, a little bit of what I'm saying. If someone does, and all you have to do is Google mind control, and um, I ran in a campaign. I'll, okay, I want to get to this. Jack Hartsfield was the reporter, and I'm going to, and he was FBI. He sent me the letters, and I assume, I think, he meant for me to use them uh, to back up what I'm saying. Uh, when I went through, Larry Flynn had uh, leased me a car in late '83, in late October of 83 after I got back from the campaign. I never saw him again. Or, uh, but anyway, I went out there trying to reconnect out there because my jobs were getting shut down. I had no money. I had a car leased. I had no gas and money for it. But they, instead of anybody talking to me, they would put me on hold and they wouldn't disconnect, but they'd come back and say, well, I'll uh, redirect my call to, and they'd put me on hold. So they never really hung up. But this is why I wanted to say and I never spoke with Mr. Flynn again. Uh, Jack Hartsville, I met when they tried to kill me after the antifreeze was put in me. 
and I'd worked for the district attorney, Fred Simpson, worked at Warren House. So you're going to get the Simpson was supposed to marry my father, which was a lie. My father's Edward VIII, married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor. My aunt is Georgia O'Keefe. Uh, I was living at Warren House, which is the Warren Commission that covered up JFK's, uh, the shooting of him, because it would have led back to me. Uh, and my father, the takedown of my father and my kidnapping. I'm Victoria II, and I'm the legal heir to the British Crown. Now, Jack helped save my life, and this woman, Lina Dempsey, killed her twins, and that's why I was dropped off in 41 in Moulton, Alabama, and the um, NASA became part of, of Huntsville, and the uh, well, I'm going to try to read that if I can uh, get off here a minute. Anyway, my aunt's Georgia O'Keefe, and this is when I was finding out about my real name after the kidnapping. I still had the Hustler car, or Larry Flint car, at least for me. And Jack was in Santa Fe, and my aunt Georgia still lived on Ghost Ranch. The only thing was that, um, I can't think of his name, Hamilton, his one Hamilton, he ended up with um, an illegal sign wheel, and my fam- the O'Keefe's couldn't get to them. And uh, anyway, Ghost Ranch. And by the way, they made a 007. The, the movie wasn't 007, but it used um, Daniel Craig. Uh, I think it's the only movie it was ever filmed on Ghost Ranch. They've used the 007s like after I was living at Moonraker Apartment doing the book MD, A License to Kill. They came out with Roger Moore and Moonraker. And movie, and then they came out with Timothy Dalton's A License to Kill. So it's like they've tried to back me up because they're hostages just the same as me. Now then, this is Jack was working for uh, Santa Fe, uh, New Mexico in Santa Fe, and my aunt lived just over the mountain, really. And this is going out again. I haven't read it. I wanted to read this part. Um, so to discredit you. The logic of some very sinister people was simply to go to any length to destabilize your life, make you appear to be nuts, loony, schizophrenic, paranoid, to break you, if all possible, psychologically and emotionally. After all, it's the guts of the U.S. space program, the home of anabolistic missile research projects, the location where every Army tactical missile system filled anywhere in the free world was managed, and where J. Edgar Hoover's FBI Division 5, a super-secret police agency, had operated since the early 1940s. In fact, that's when I was kidnapped, okay, and brought there. In fact, it was so sensitive, it did not exist. Okay, now I wanted to read this, and if I get, can get to it. Um, one way was through a program called MK Ultra, a mind-controlled, mind-altering research project with which the Central Intelligence Agency at the time had dabbled in for years. And uh, still another program tied to the research effort called Psychotronics um, in the U.S. and formerly called Psychotronics by the later defunct Soviet Union. Um, The concept can implant fear, Manic moods, even deep depression, uh, unexplained paranoia. And a gentleman named Nikolai Tesla was researching psychotronics as far back as 1930. So I won't go on about that. Uh, You can create illnesses or cure them or modify behavior or or, uh, make people go out and kill. So um, there was one other thing I'm not sure I'm not going to get it on here. I really wanted to. It was about the Freemasons. By the way, the only time this woman, Dempsey, that kidnapped me, uh, that they kidnapped and put me there, had the twins. The only time she was ever married was the name Milton Mason, as in the Freemasons. She was part of the Freemasons, uh, Masonic Order, the women's, and the person there, James Dent, Matthew Dempsey, was a Freemason. Uh, they were the ones that kidnapped me, helped my uncle kidnap me, George Illegal Six. But I wanted to um, 
and I'm not going to get to it. I, I thought I had it organized so I could read it. I guess not. It was about, uh, Jack wrote me back 